everybody, it's Maribel, and I am coming to you with another scrapbook layout processing video. This is another Disney layout. Um, we went to Disneyland this past summer, and I'm still trying to finish scrapbooking all those um, photos. So one of the places that we went to was Cars Land. And so I have this, I found this wonderful paper, that big tire there. And it is from Reminisce, That's How I Roll. And it's called Checkered Flag. And so um, I first mounted it um, on some red cardstock just to make it more firm. Then you'll see there that I am mixing some acrylic paint with some water. Now the reason why I'm doing it with, I put some water in there is so that um, when I paint, you can still see through the paint. Um, I had one at white. Now, I don't know if you can tell that it's not white. It's like a, more of a cream acrylic. Uh, I would have preferred white, but I don't ha didn't have any white. So um, again, I put some water in it. As you can see, as I'm painting, you can still make out the tire behind the... Um, um, behind the acrylic paint. And that's exactly what I wanted was to be able to see um, the pattern there. So um, once I was done painting, I then dried. And I, as I was drying, or as, as I'm drying, you can see that the tire is um, coming uh, through. So you can see Still see the tire pattern so it's, it kind of gives it a neat rough effect okay so then and uh, I want to do a little more than just the acrylic paint so I decided to use the uh, some texture texturing paste so I'm going to stencil so there I am taking out the um, texture uh, paste. Um, at first, I wanted to see if I could blend in some of the Heidi Swap uh, spritz. So here I am mixing some up here. And um, it ended up not working. I liked the Heidi Swap color because it's more bright. But as, as you can see, when I was mixing, it just kind of made the gold go away. I think the, the white was, um, or just wasn't strong enough. So I went and I got some acrylic gold paint and I put that in instead. Uh, and it turned out fine, but it doesn't have the, the shine like the Heidi Swamp um, Spritz does. But it, it worked out, um, it worked out fine, just as fine. So there I am trying to just checking to see where I'm going to be putting my uh, stencil. So the stencil I have there, it's like a chevron. I can't tell you who it's from because I'm, um, I don't recall, <laughs> but um, it is a very thin, uh, kind of delicate uh, stencil. So uh, it was a little hard to put it on because um, it didn't want to, it just kept moving and it just it was just too delicate didn't want to uh, stay in place <laughs> so um but it still kind of it still worked out so you'll see i have the chevron um pointed towards where the photos are going to be um and on the top i put um too much texture paste so on the bottom, I thought I'd uh, smooth it out a little bit more just so um, I don't put as much because the, mo the more you put on, uh, the longer it's going to take to dry. Uh, and then you'll see that um, I think I put a little too little in it. Okay, so um, next what I do is I have my... Uh, so I'm going to dry them, sorry. I'm going to dry them first. And like I said, the thicker that you, the thicker you put it on, the more, the longer it's going to take to dry. 
but it, it, I think it turned out really, really cute. And if you do get some on, like I had, I made a little mistake there, you can just always wipe it off. So now I'm going to put some spritz. And again, I'm going to use the Heidi Swap Gold Spritz. And you can hear that I'm um, shaking it. Um, and I'm uh, just dropping some drops um, throughout the paper there, kind of concentrated in the areas of where the stencil is. Uh, I'm looking at some spritz, trying to figure out what color I want it. I ended up with the Heidi Swap Sweet Cherry. And I am shaking it. Um, and then I'm dropping some more um, spritz throughout the uh, paper. And I kind of like it when the drops are, are uh, different sizes. So um, I, think, I think it looks, it adds some interest to it. So next I'm putting on the Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain. This is, it's just like a black. Um, so I just, again, I just wanted to add some more interest. And um, I am now drying, making sure that um, that the dots are dry as well as the uh, stencil. And so, yeah, the, just like, you know, the more you put on, the longer it's going to take to dry. So like the bigger dots took a little bit longer to, to dry than obviously the smaller dots. Um, let's see here. And so there I am, just test, testing it. You could test with your fingers just to make sure that you, you know, that's dry before you put anything on it. Now, because it is, um, you know, all the stuff that you put on it, when you do start putting down your pictures, you do want to put something other than just your regular dry adhesive because it's not going to stay. So uh, you might want to think about um, a more stronger adhesive. Uh, or, or even a liquid. So uh, there I am. I did all the mixed media that I'm going to do on this one. <laughs> um, so I, oh, I take that back. I decided I wanted to stamp. So I had a stamp from Bo Bunny. And um, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of gave me the look of a, of a, a tire tread. So uh, I, I liked it. So I thought I, you know, put that where I you do know, just kind of near where the photos are going to be. Um, so there I am, just um, stamping it there. Now I like to put my ink on top of my stamp instead of putting my stamp on top of the ink. Does that make sense? <laughs> I rub it on just be, to make sure I got I got everything. So um, I end up using the dryer again uh, because I just wanted to make sure that um, no um, ink got uh, smeared or got onto my photo. I got a lot of use out of my dryer on, on this layout. <laughs> um, let's see. So after I dried, um, I am about to place my photos and I realize, uh, well, I'm still trying to figure out how I want them. Um, but I do realize that because of all the stuff that I put on there, that I do need a stronger uh, adhesive. So I end up putting some um, mounting foam. I think just like one or two pieces. Um, would do the job. It's also nice to to uh, just put the in, to do this when you're not too sure if you want to put something behind the photos because it gives it a lift, but it also allows you to tuck things behind it. So you'll see that um, I end up doing that on this layout. So it's kind of a neat um, trick. So just in case you know. Um, you know, you start scrapbooking and then you start realizing, you know what, that needs a little bit more color or, you know, what? I really like this. Let me add this to the layout as well. So um, doing that um, really helps. It allows you to, you know, tuck things in. Um, and then if it's too long, you can always cut whatever it is you're going to tuck behind uh, the photo. 
So you'll see that I'm placing down the, the photos. I apologize for the glare. My shop light is right above my desk, which is great when I'm scrapbooking, but not too great when I am filming. So um, here I am uh, taking out some patterned paper. Um, I, you know, I just cut out some rectangles and uh, decided, you know, it needs a little bit of red here. Um, maybe a little red there. So it's just a matter of, you know, what looks good to you. Um, and so, oh, and I liked, I really liked the sky because if you can see in the one, uh, the picture with my daughter and son sitting, that there's some sky in there. So I wanted to put some clouds somewhere. So I, I thought I needed a bigger piece there. Um, and I'm just kind of playing with the paper. Oh, I like those clouds better than the other clouds. I think the other clouds just looked, I don't know, didn't quite look as real. Oh yeah, that one looks way better. So I went ahead and um, just started tucking in paper uh, and you know, it just kind of adds something. Again, it adds another layer of interest, another layer of texture. Um, didn't know if I wanted to use, you know, any gold paper or the black and white paper. I went ahead and decided against it. Now I am putting on my title. And my title is, I think it's, um, I really like these people. Oh, these are my favorite people. Something like that. I can't read that so small. But it's uh, like, these are my favorite people. So these are my favorite. Something like that. Yeah. So uh, I put my title there. And then now it's time to put on my embellishments. So I found these neat um, buttons for Disney cars, and you'll see them off in the the left there. I'm grabbing them now, and I had already cut off the buttonhole, or the the button, yeah, the buttonhole, in in the um, on the back of the buttons, so that way it makes it flat. Now because these are heavier, and because I'm putting them over texture, uh, you know, uh, texture paste. Um, I am uh, deciding as I'm working there <laughs> that I am going to put on my glue gun. So I end up um, adhering those buttons to my layout using um, hot glue. So you'll see um, my um, glue gun so I'm waiting for the glue gun to warm up so I put my date on there and there I am putting some glue and you'll see it fell oh. but the good thing about um, hot glue is it dries and you can rub it off be careful not to pull too much because you might pull um, the uh, paper and you don't want to do that so I was able to dry it I mean I was able to just rub it off and it came off just came right off um, so you'll see I have Lightning McQueen and Mater on there. And now I'm trying to decide um, which other embellishment, embellishments to put on there. Um, there are some uh, cute, other cute little buttons that um, um, that say things on them. So I'm just playing with it, see what looks good um, to me. Now I have some washi tape and it's like um, like flames. And so I wanted to go ahead and use that. I have tons of washi tape, but I just never use it because I really don't know how to use it on a paper. I don't know, to me it just, I don't know. Um, so, but I'm trying to force myself to put it uh, on paper. So thank you. Thank you for watching.